astronomers recently found a tantalizing hint that life could be wafting through the clouds of Venus. But it seems the hunt for extraterrestrial life is far from over. As new research is already calling that discovery into question. The detection of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere, announced last month, ignited a firestorm of speculation about whether the gas could be produced by alien microbes on the planet. However, three independent studies now have failed to find evidence of phosphine in the Venusian atmosphere. One of the groups used archival observations to search for the signs of the gas and found nothing. We're not seeing any phosphine, says Connor Nixon from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Two other groups reprocessed the original data and also found no evidence for phosphine. At first glance, this story might just be about a problem with data. But no, it raises a bigger issue about science. All science needs to be verifiable and repeatable. The initial report found more than a thousand times the amount of phosphine gas in Earth's atmosphere floating through the thick clouds of Venus. And it raised the issue of how the phosphine molecules were made. On Earth, most phosphine is made by microbes, but humans make it too, in meth labs and even part of the semiconductor industry. All, I guess, signs of life. The team that identified phosphine used two instruments. First, the James Clark Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii, and then they moved on to the more powerful instrument, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, a network of 66 radio dishes in the Chilean high desert. The team argued that the amount of phosphine that they observed would be tough to explain if it was not biologically produced. And it seems now that it's all about statistical probability. It's possible they had a noisy data set and that produced an artificial signal. And this is good because science is self-correcting. Extraordinary claims requires extraordinary evidence. If the result was wrong, more science needs to be done. The truth is out there. Did you enjoy that? It's a bit of a new format using library clips to illustrate science stories for you. But the film library shots are rather expensive, but here's a brilliant deal. You can support me by signing up for NordVPN. You get a great VPN for your home use, and NordVPN give me some money when you sign up, and you get a giant discount. Use the code PROFSIMON to get a two-year plan plus a month free and a massive discount. Mm-hmm. What's not to love? Thank you.